welcome to 2017. So a lot has been happening in the past couple of months. I know I haven't done any update in a couple of months. As you can see, I've been busy setting up a whole new studio. And that's because I really want to get the best uh, quality video, quality content to you guys. So uh, I had to move. You know, I got married. A lot of things happened. So I decided, hey, you know, if I'm going to move to a new place, let's, you know, invest in a really, really good studio. And as you can see, this is the result. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I'm still in the middle of setting everything up, but so far it's looking pretty good. Uh, things are going to change a little bit more around here. And once it's done, I'll give you guys a studio tour uh, and the setup that I've got. Um, and so that's kind of been the, the update in terms of the physical studio. Uh, in terms of Codemy itself, uh, there has been a lot of things going on and this, uh, you know, an update in the software side of things as well. I've been busy rebuilding uh, a new version of Codemy that's going to deliver an even better experience for you guys. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys doing a deep dive, uh, a walkthrough with of the new site that's coming up. We're not releasing it yet because it's I'm still working on it. Uh, but you can take a look at what's going on, what updates are happening, like why I'm rebuilding the new site. We'll do a brief walkthrough of the, uh, a little bit of the code, a little bit of structure, and I'm going to be giving you guys, uh, you, you know, the plan for the rest of the year as well, like the kind of content I'm going to be covering, like what our focus is going to be, uh, stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's hop right in. All right, so here we are. Um, I'm going to hop right into the browser. And so here, this is the new version of Codemy. Um, and, you know, I've talked briefly about this UI in the second lab report, but this has come a long way. Like a lot of updates have happened. I changed a lot of the file the underneath, like, you know, under the hood, what's going on. Uh, the code is a lot more efficient. Um, you know, it's there's a lot going on here, uh, which I'm going to be showing you guys, um, you know, how to do on screen. Like a lot, I learned a lot building this UI. So I built this settings page. Um, you know, there's a subscription status page now. You can see all the animations flowing in, looking really beautiful. Um, there's a new credit card page. So, you know, previously we got a lot of feedback from our current site. Uh, you know, some users want to be able to manage their cards, the credit cards they're using for the subscription page. Uh, so we built a whole new credit card page over here. Um, you know, so like, for example, it's just as you're typing in the credit card number, it's going to select what card type it is. And then when it's complete, it's going to highlight green, all kinds of cool stuff like that, all built in React, a React router, MobX, uh, Webpack. So, uh, you know, in, in between all that, I learned so much about how to handle user authentication as well. So like if I log out over here, um, you know, I can log in. I hit enter, I am logged in now. Um, so when you're building a, a, a single page application like this, uh, there are things you need to take into consideration because you're not gonna use a traditional request, uh, you know, you send a request to the server with the cookie uh, in the header uh, anymore. So, you know, I'm gonna be showing you guys the techniques of how you would handle a situation like this where you have a single page application with your React app where everything is being rendered on the client side. Uh, how do you handle server side rendering? Uh, all that kind of stuff is, is gonna be uh, what our focus is gonna be uh, you know, at the beginning of this year. So what that means is we have to have the Rails back end to go with uh, the front end. So let's take a little bit uh, look at the what's going on. So as you can see here, uh, I've got two servers started. The back end server, this is the Rails API on the left hand side over here that you're looking at. And then on the right hand side over here, uh, we have the Webpack server. And this is what's building the front end for me. So what I have done is I've completely separated the front end and the back end. And I could literally just move this source code of the front end out into a separate repository repository and uh, you know just have them uh, be apart and 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 be independent of each other um, and so uh, what that means is the code base I feel is a lot easier to manage because now you can just focus on writing Ruby when you're on the back end so as you can see here I've got my control my APIs over here my API controllers and they're all nested under this API namespace under v1 uh, so I've rewritten a lot of the controllers 
uh, reusing a lot of a lot of code as well. Uh, and so far, I've been very very happy with the outcome. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do all of this stuff that I've, I'm I'm clicking through over here. As you can see, I'm using JBuilder to output the JSON. Uh, the code is very clean. Um, you know, I really like the setup that I've got over here. And so I think moving forward, this is kind of like the way to go in terms of building front end apps and and back end apps. Um, so using Webpack as the assets pipeline and then basically adding whatever library you want and then using the new ES6 syntax. Uh, you know, so that whole setup, I'm gonna be showing you guys. So let me show you the folder structure for the front end stuff. Uh, so this is the, the back end stuff. So I've got my front end stuff here nested in the www folder. And if I go inside, you see everything is componentized. You know, that's the beauty of React. Everything is contained in its own component. Uh, so I've got all these components. Uh, so let's take a look at the sessions component, for example. So this is the, the login page. It's its own component. Um, and another cool thing I've been able to do is abstract a lot of stuff so I can reuse a lot of components. So if I go to the profile page, I click save. There's an alert box over here and you saw that spinner wheel. So those are components that I'm sharing across my application. So if I click here, uh, it, it dismisses the alert. Uh, so let's take a look at the structure for that. Uh, so if I click over into my lib folder over here, I've got components that I share. So there's a few over here. I've got the modal box. So if I go to the subscription or if I go to the cards, and I click add new card. This is a modal box um, that I'm using over and over again across the application for whenever I need it. Uh, and, and the same goes with the alert field. So as you can see, these are just components that I wrote that I'm reusing across the app. And I find that building an, a front-end app this way uh, gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of consistency at the same time. So you can have um, you know page-specific stuff, which you know you can just rewrite, and if you want to uh, like have customizability, but you have certain components that are um, going to be the same across your application, like the alert box or um, you know, the modal box, or if you have you know, like a video viewer or whatever, those can be their own components that you can just share across your application. Um, and so it's been a lot of fun developing like this and I highly recommend it. And so that's why um, in the beginning of this year, uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more React, uh, you know, like continuing on from the React Foundation series. So a lot of those content, uh, it's gonna be member exclusive as well. So I urge you guys to uh, subscribe. That is how we're able to, you know, pay for all this equipment to get the best content for you guys, pay for the development, uh, to get the best delivery of, uh, you know, the, the mechanism, the software for you guys to, to have the best learning experience. So with that, I hope you guys really enjoyed this lab report. I certainly enjoyed making it. Don't forget to subscribe, become a member. See you in the next one.